What's going on guys? My name is Garrett here on the Jobless Gamer channel. If you're my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Jobless Gamer family today because I do upload daily GTA 5 and GTA Online content. Today we'll be talking about the brand new additions and features that will be coming to GTA 5 and GTA Online for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Now this is information that was not available to us before, but thanks to the guys over at Reddit, the username by the name of Dr. Oversight, we have some pretty cool things to talk about in this video. And if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys do drop a like. Let's go for a thousand likes and let's jump right into the information at hand. So the big question is when upgrading from Xbox 360 or PS3 version of GTA 5 to a PS4, Xbox One or PC version, what changes will I see? The answer that Rockstar gave, Grand Theft Auto 5 will take full advantage of the power of the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC with across the board graphical and technical improvements to deliver a stunning new level of detail, increased draw distance, finer texture details, denser traffic and enhanced resolutions all work together to bring a new life to the cities, towns, deserts and oceans of Rockstar North's epic re-imaging of Southern California. All new content and gameplay created since the launch of Grand Theft Auto Online included an extensive array of new jobs, an arsenal of new weapons, scores of new vehicles, new properties, player customizations will also be available for the PlayStation 4 system, Xbox One, PC with much more to come. So that means any DLC that's ever come out since the launch of GTA 5 will be available for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. In addition, the current community of players will have the ability to transfer the Grand Theft Auto Online characters and progression to their choice of PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC. Grand Theft Auto for PC will also feature a video editor designed for advanced movie making. So if you like making machinimas or different types of movies within games, then this would be a perfect program within the game to help you better make those machinimas and other things that will be coming with the release of PC. Now, in addition to the above features I just talked about, Rockstar also want to let you guys know that there'll be other additions that will be coming to GTA 5 or PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Now, some of these additions they'll be adding are things that we've always wanted in the game, and hopefully you guys are equally as excited as I am for these additions. There's going to be a brand new first-person mode for vehicles that shows the interior of the vehicle, including working speedometers, tachometers, dash lights, and more. There's also going to be a brand new first-person mode while on foot, so whether or not you can use guns while in first person that would be really freaking cool there'll also be a wealth of new easter eggs and random events for story mode as if you guys are love easter eggs and different things in story mode this would be a great addition for you guys so things that we can find now also there'll be new animals roaming in los santos there's gonna be animals in gt online and players that transfer characters from xbox 360 or ps3 will receive free new weapons and a free garage in gt online and there's also going to be a newly overhauled character selection screen for, I guess, more characters you can have available to you. Now, whether or not this list of things will be coming with the launch of GTA Online for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, we don't know just yet. The reason for this is because this Newswire news article was updated and uploaded September 12th. Now, it's already September 21st, and they actually took this down. They, for some reason, took this article down. And we're not exactly sure why. Now, whether or not it's because they're not going to be adding all these things or they just weren't ready to tell us all this stuff, thanks to the guys over at Reddit, we were able to find this because they used a Google cache of Rockstar's webpage. So very, very cool. Hopefully, all these things I mentioned in this article do come to GTA 5 Next Gen and PC as a lot of the things that were mentioned are amazing things that a lot of us have wanted for a very long time. I know that I'll definitely be taking advantage of the first person mode and I might even get an Oculus Rift so I can do the first person mode. That would be, oh God, GTA 5 on the Oculus Rift. That would be amazing. But we're going to have to see if Rasha does come out with all these stuff that I just mentioned. It was released on an article, but then it was taken down. So it leads me to believe that they might not be adding all those things on the release so we're just gonna have to wait and see but hopefully you guys are excited let's go for a thousand likes if you guys can share this video with a friend let them know what to be excited for in next gen gta 5 and pc gta 5 and i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new gta 5 and gta online video or later tonight with a live stream at twitch.tv slash jobless gamers where i'm gonna be playing some gta 5 with you guys the jobless gamer family i'll see you guys there